Mr. Beast touching NFTs? Say it ain't so. Mega GMs and welcome to Inside NFTs. Well, there's no strength in the market, but there's so much happening in the NFT space. Let's get into it all. Diving into the NFT market first, where the Forecast 500 NFT index shows that we're down just over a percent. This is NFTs losing value across the ecosystem. Global sales yesterday finished at $8.4 million, 238,000 NFT transactions. Both of those figures up ever so slightly from Sunday. But again, the market looking very, very rough here. Last week ended at $72 million. That was a 117 week low for the NFT market. And August finished with a 30 month low for NFT sales at $395 million in cross chain sales. Your Crypto Slam top 10 NFT collections. We have D Market, Board Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Apes, Sorare, Crypto Punks, Draft Kings, Play NFT, The Sats, BRC 20 collection, Gods Unchained, and Ordinals. Great to see two bit Bitcoin collections back in the top 10. And very interesting to me here, D Market with the 1.2 million in sales, outselling the entire Solana ecosystem, outselling all of Polygon NFTs. And the same applies for Bored Apes. And go down the list, you can see individual projects outsell entire blockchains NFT ecosystems. It either means that some of these NFT projects are way bigger than people give them credit for, or that the NFT ecosystem has fallen way more than we care to admit. All right, now, Mr. Beast, I mentioned touching NFTs. Now, not directly, but he is supporting a new NFT called Creator League. With Creator League, you buy a pass to a YouTube and gamer influencer, join their team, vote on their roster, vote on their rules. Heck, you may even be on their team, compete for prizes, interact with the community. This is all backed by an NFT pass. You hear Web2 gamers saying they don't like NFTs, they're not going to touch them. I don't know how true that is. Don't call it an NFT and they may just be in. Creators involved with the project, I show speed, Snapnap, Bella Porsche, Asmongold, even Vinny Hacker. One of these creators actually left the project when he found out it's an NFT. I think these guys don't understand what NFTs are and what they do. It being an NFT or not being an NFT doesn't change anything about the project. These guys need to just learn a lesson here. Quality is quality and utility is king. But hey, if they want to fade it, it's them and their community that's going to lose out in the long run. We all know NFTs are the winning idea. And by the way, Mr. Beast's involvement, buy a pass and you get a box of Mr. Beast's Feastables chocolates. I always wanted to try them, so I'm going to buy a pass. Now I get to try the chocolate. Okay, Champ Medici has created a $1 million fund on the Tezos blockchain for NFT creators. And look, he's helping singers, musicians, artists grow. This is bullish for Tezos. It's bullish for artists. It's a very nice win for the entire blockchain community in this bear market. Next, a really, really cool sports collectible. Gives us a taste of the future of sports collectibles. Check this out. Sorare is launching AR equipped 3D football player cards. I call them soccer players. These collectible cards you can view, I'm assuming, through an app that'll display your card in augmented reality. Okay, close your eyes. Let's play a little pretend here. In the future, you want to relive your favorite play in whatever your favorite sport is. Well, right now we look at our favorite collectible cards. Maybe you go to NBA Top Shot and you watch the video moment. AR enabled cards bring us just one step closer to what I think's coming. Throw on your AR VR goggles, cue up your Michael Jordan game winning shot, your Tom Brady Hail Mary touchdown. Watch it play right in your living room. Right now in the VV NFT platform, I can put Superman in my living room life size. It looks like Superman's in my room. What if it's real life sports figures and what if they're moving around reenacting your favorite plays? That's coming probably a decade away, but it's coming. Now, this one takes me back to my childhood. Casio is releasing a virtual G-Shock NFT. Dropping on Polygon, this is Casio's inaugural NFT, but expect more virtual clothing and watches. All kinds of things are possible with NFTs. Digital with physical counterparts. Casio is now in on the game. Okay, let's bring it home with a little bit about the royalty talk. We know a few weeks back, OpenSea decided to no longer enforce creator fees. Well, we would assume that creator fees have plummeted, right? Nobody's paying them anymore because you're not forced to. Well, that's not the case. NFT Stats pointed out that since removing the royalty requirement, OpenSea royalties haven't moved. In fact, when I look at that chart, it actually looks to me like they're up a bit. People are paying their creator fees. Glad to see that. Support artists, support creators. This is the way to build out the NFT ecosystem. Okay, it actually was a busier day than I was expecting. Maybe not in the markets, but certainly in the news. Tomorrow, I will be back with the latest happenings in the NFT space with the latest market updates. And remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see you.